I think the sort of surface level approach to marriage that Anthony holds at the beginning of the series is, is puts Edwina in his line of sight. Um, and also Edwina, you know, is, is, has basically gone through finishing school um, in, the, in the hands of Kate, her older sister, and has been bred really to marry. And so it, in, in theory, on paper, it's a perfect match. Working with Simone and Charithra has been, um, it's been like a total joy. And so I met Simone first, and they, they're the only two uh, ladies, women that I uh, screen tested with. And there was something about meeting Simone for the first time, which has continued since that first moment, which is that it feels like when we're acting together, there's, like we're in the same tunnel. We get the giggles for sure, but there's so, they, we can we can hold each other and not be distracted. And there's something quite sort of magical about that. And also, it felt really playful and alive. So when I met her, I was just like thrilled because she's kind of a perfect Kate. So that's been amazing. And then Charisse, you know, it's her second job, and she's coming in just and she smashes it. And she's great. We're from uh, the same town. We basically went to the equivalent schools. Um, and yeah, so she's been, she feels very much like uh, a member of the tribe, as does Simone. And they came in so sort of readily and easily. And, you know, I can't imagine a, a Bridgeton world without the Sharmas now. Um, and it's been, it's been brilliant. I think the forbidden love and the d desire and the passion between Kay and Anthony actually came, well, I haven't seen it yet, but assuming, <laughs> assuming that it's all there, um, it came quite naturally because really it's about obsession there's it's that level of he's obsessed with her and that can sound toxic and terrifying but i think it's like he's just completely bowled over by her and so really i think i think the key to i mean i say i'm saying all this having not seen it <laughs> but i'm imagining my understanding of that is just that you just listen to everything and you're completely aware of where they are in the room at every point um, and it's that thing um, which me and Simone, I think, can do naturally, even from the moment we met in our auditions, is that it's just they just lock in. Um, and I think that's basically the foundation for, for all sort of intimacy and passions. You know, at least that's the, the basis by which that can all blossom. But there's things about, you know, he's a, he is like an animal because he is obsessed with her smell and he says that a lot and he's constantly aware of her smell before he sees her um, and it's very sensual and yeah that's all they're all quite active things to play so I think if you focus on that bit then hopefully everything else comes but who knows maybe not <laughs> we'll see